Hello and welcome back to Transport Fever 2 here on uh, Rollscro Gaming. And as ever, we are about to turn a new year in the game that is uh, Bill's Wall. That is where we get new vehicles. And unfortunately, we don't really get any vehicle at all that is interesting here. So, what will we do this episode? Well, we are starting outside a big deal as ever. Or, uh, sort of a town in focus for uh, the last couple of episodes for sure and it will be in focus this episode as well or at least in uh, the beginning because we need to take a look on our machine delivery service here how is it doing well we are not really having anything waiting here we have 10 machines waiting to go to big deal uh, which isn't enough and we have uh, 9 out of 42 here are loaded towards Juno Sando, which isn't that great. And uh, we were fulfilling everything here to Juno Sando, but we aren't anymore. So what is uh, uh, the back end or what is, uh, is the problem, so to say? Well, it is planks, so we needed to do something about that. So we will be having a look down towards this so i think we are probably not shipping enough yeah exactly here we are shipping only 55 so i think we need to double up that at least and uh, that is uh, something we can do quite easily because i don't think we have touched these vehicles forever so uh, let's manage a vehicle or vehicles uh, we'll select all vehicles here and we'll just upgrade it or replace it with something a little bit more modern. The Kanstat, for example. And that will also actually bring down the running cost a little bit, maybe uh, as well, the effective running cost, but not uh, the total running cost of it. Uh, because that will be higher, but we are running a very old vehicles on it at the moment. But we'll uh, replace everything here. So that should up the tempo quite a lot on it. Uh, so we have 38 planks waiting at the moment. And that should be, if they were at the same uh, tempo as before, that would have been around the exactly right amount for uh, this train. That is also quite old. We're actually running a Borsig on it. So uh, this is also something we'll uh, change up here. And I think we will go with uh, one of the new trains that we haven't used yet. I think we will go with the Russian class F Fairline since uh, that definitely carries a punch and is a quite odd one to look at and also we don't have any wagons that will go faster than 50 so I think uh, losing 5 just to run that train should be alright. Currently we are running 49 in capacity, capacity, not, not capacity, but capacity. Uh, so we will up that a fair bit, I think we'll do double that, so up to 98, and uh, we'll replace that. And uh, I think we'll have a look on it, coming in towards the station here, soonish. Very soon hitting uh, the, the tunnel here actually. So let's see if I can uh, do some... Uh, camera work here and I can't but but we'll, we'll try nonetheless to do some camera work here so oh wait oh all right so uh, the locomotive is gone uh, and uh, the driver is standing in the air uh, yes so we actually have the driver here on the other side so we should take a look on that. And I am pressing the wrong buttons just as usual. But we'll move around here and see. Yeah, we do find the driver here uh, standing and uh, well, taking care of the train here. And we're just about to enter the station here. And hopefully we are filling up the train uh, a fair bit. 
Well, we have uh, certainly uh, quite a load here standing on the goods platform. So let's jump out here and check how much is actually standing there. So 56, uh, not as much as we would have hoped for, but at least, it, at least it's more than uh, 49. So I don't expect us to be full in any way whatsoever. We have nothing stored here, but I think we are yeah, we're already up to 66 in produce, production and 65 in shipment, so uh, that's already quite a lot better, so uh, that's always good. Uh, so I think we'll let that sort of uh, peel in or uh, time in, so to say, not peel in, that's a bad word, but uh, sort of let it take its time to, to get to a good place and hopefully work itself out here with uh, Jun Sando and a big deal. Uh, so I think that should be all right. Next up, let's have a look here at Brunflu, or uh, maybe our biggest town. Let's actually have a look on, at that 316. So no, I don't think it is. I think Serna still is the biggest, biggest town. And me stumbling on the word, words just as usual. Usual. Yeah, stumbling on every word there, pretty much. So, yeah, Serna is uh, definitely the biggest town. With no questions asked whatsoever. Prunflu is a pretty close second, though. And uh, we, we have Snesudden. It's pretty big, but we haven't really connected to yet. I think and a Bosta but I think both of those are uh, on yeah Bosta is here and Snesudden I think is on the bottom of the map yeah it is so uh, the parts where we haven't yet connected the modern world haven't come to them yet uh, but yeah we were having a look here on uh, this so I think we're losing quite a bit here still in the fuel shuttle uh, so we queued up that a fair bit and uh, that wouldn't be anything bad. So uh, what are we doing here? Fuel shuttle, uh, manage vehicles or lines, we'll do vehicles. Uh, so we'll let you we'll copy three or clone three vehicles here, so up it to well, up it with 50% in terms of the fuel shuttle. And I think that will be enough for now. And I hope that they will not run, run empty for too much. If that's the case, we will just up uh, the production here because we are not uh, shipping everything here. Yeah, we're only transporting 60% out of the fuel, so we can definitely do better. And uh, th next question would be, where can we deliver fuel? Well, we can to Jutkvarn, and we should deliver to Jutkvarn. After all, we are having a port over here. And where are we delivering? Now, I need to look at this. What sort of lines are we running? Fuel supply? Yeah, you're automatically doing that correct as well. Uh, so that's an easy hookup that we, for some reason, haven't done yet. And now I'm wondering, yeah, I couldn't move the map there for some reason. Uh, so this is connected to that, obviously. Yeah, so Jutkvarn, you are getting a good platform. How fun for you. And for some reason we're not running on the inner line here. I wonder why. Uh, well, I guess it's... it's. Uh, I thought that we might turn off to somewhere. Uh, but uh, let's, let's don't think about that anymore. Let's instead configure the platform here. Uh, so we'll add or the station. So we'll add in more more uh, tracks there, and then we'll do platforms. Oh come on! 
I know we don't have any cache issue, so that shouldn't be any problem. Uh, so that's uh, the, the track accounted for. Next up, we will have uh, the cargo station. Now this will block pretty much any further expansion uh, on this. So the question is, will we add in one more track just in case? Yeah, we will. But the question then is, can we add in cargo buildings? No, we can't. So we'll actually, just in case this, in case we do decide to move in on, with a lot more goods on this station, we will do like this. So now we have three, three tracks for uh, goods. Now we could have one. Now I do, do want to demolish this. And I want to do one more track. So I will want to have a passing track in the middle here if I would need that for whatever reason. So finally, let's place. Oh, we're still having the cargo platform that we need to put in. Then we can put in the cargo building. Now will we have it that in the middle? Yeah, I think we'll have it in the middle. And what will we have around it? Some medium. Yeah, we'll have medium cargo buildings around it. For the full length, uh, I think that looks the best and is the most fun. And the uh, Jurkvarn. You're a tiny city, but you might get a bit of growth with the, the fuel at least, so that's nice. And uh, let's see here then. Uh, you need to be connected to this. So we'll have a train station here. And uh, we want you to be a, not a passenger, a cargo terminus. And let's have you be something like that. Oh, that is not the right button. So, the shift is the button I were looking for. And if we connect to there, yeah, we're still connected, so that's good. Uh, I think we should be in the general direction towards well, that area and I think that were a good placement so I placed it and you can think what you want about it so yeah obviously that this will be a pretty short run as such and uh, while we are building and this piece of track remember to hit that oh, we have hammers from there also and that can go on that line. So from here, we are going to go to Hamashan at least. And we have Timur over there. So that will be a little bit trickier, uh, but uh, this will be, we're not likely to bring anything more in this way. And kind of, Dumb that I did it this way, but I should have shipped everything back here and then sent it up with rail up to Bruinflu and to Jutkvarn and to further on. But I think this will actually be the furthest out just because I don't think we will go over there. Uh, if we do so, I will change it later. But anyway, as I was saying, if you are enjoying this, do remember to smash that like button uh, if you want to see more Transport Fever 2. And uh, if you're enjoying the game and everything like that. And uh, if you are doing that, you should also hit that subscribe button. If you haven't done that of already, of course. Uh, so which platform do we want to come in at? Um, I don't think we will be coming in. Well, we have... A 
quite a few other things here uh, that could be in play but we were likely coming in from the other side uh, so that could be but how does this look well that looks a bit more fun really to be honest uh, so we'll do like that uh, obviously this piece of road could definitely use some rework uh, we haven't really dabbled with roads as such but um, we'll actually do that for now oh or we won't uh, but i can kind of want to build a bridge over here well we're going to do it just so we can get it to look a little bit nicer as i said we're usually not dabbling with the roads as such but um, we'll make an exception all right so no not what i wanted to do not what i wanted to do either i want you to go up oh there we go m is the correct keyboard and yeah this is there's no pillar, there's no real pillar, but uh, yeah, this is what I wanted to do, so, well, there is one pillar, and uh, yeah, that looks a lot better, so I'm happy with that, happy with that change, and uh, now it's too far really to send in from the, the usual depot, so I think we'll just have to do uh, uh, something like this something like this and uh, build a little a depot right here so we'll have a depot and uh, i hope yeah snap there we go and then it's time for the line to be set up and as we are setting up this line it will automatically bring fuel here well i hope so at least uh, that's uh, what should happen uh, lower jute corn up to jute corn and uh, this will be fuel delivery jute corn so fuel Fuel the delivery. You and then we only need a train and a delivery system internal in Yurkwan. So what should we go with? Locomotives. Uh, should we go with another class F fair line? I think we will. Uh, take that as long as we can take it so to say uh, we'll take this sort of modern car or modern wagon uh, we'll go with a capacity of what 49 yeah i think that will be enough then we'll put it on fuel delivery u and there we go and uh, of course since we did fix the road, why not take uh, take advantage of it and let it go past here? Now, are we hitting the station here? Not really. Will we place it anyway? Yeah, we will because it looks nice. And uh, can we do something so you speak with the road? Can we configure you to talk with the road? Side entrance, platform roof passage underpass no cargo endings collision yeah no it's a collision all right so we can't um, then what can we do waypoint no sponsor it Obviously not possible. All right, so we'll do something like that then. Um, there you go. You are connected. And, oh, 
What? All right. Just a little bit of a bug there, or a graphical glitch. And uh, do we have? Where do we have a vehicle depot? Closest one in Sturbacken. Or Hammarstrand or uh, or Brunflu. Well, we don't need need one in Jutkorn. We'll just send the vehicles from a bit away or a far off. Truck station. We will go three wide, three wide, uh, just because we can. And uh, oh, pressing the wrong button there again. And holding shift, rotate. Now looking at that line, that red line beside the road, and not changing it. That's but explain. Now that looks parallel to me. Well, enough construction not possible. All right, there we edge collision. Well, let's just skip that then. Construction not possible. All right, so there we go. You're connected to everything. Yes, you are. That's good. And then we need some truck on a load stop. Fuel is needed over here, so you will get fuel over here. There we go. New line. Jutkorn sidings to Dahlström Skatan. What a name. Or something. So this is a fuel shuttle. Shuttle. You. There we go. Uh, we'll take some vehicles from all over here. Oh, there's a tram depot. That's a road depot. And uh, Jukvarn. I think we'll take it from Sturbacken. And we are going to get a few of you. How many? Let's say five. And we're going to put you all on fuel shuttle U. And there we go. So let's have a look back at where we started the episode on our uh, delivery setup here. So we have the train actually now waiting. And it's almost full. 93. Very almost full. Uh, so production shipment we still can up this a little bit, uh, it would seem. Yeah, so we can uh, and will manage vehicle. Well, let us clone. I don't think we need much, but uh, let's clone. Let's actually clone a, a fair bit. Let's clone six. So search percent more increase from what we already got and that should help us and that looks better at least and no one is here and we are having 14 plus 11 machines so that's better and we have moved this to level two well i think that is something we did in the last episode already but uh, machines are still stored 198 and no wood so we are uh, starting to get there, shipping 91, yeah. So we're still under on uh, planks, uh, is the, the, the trouble really. But I think we are doing better. Obviously, Juno Sando have dropped quite a fair bit uh, since we are supplying a big deal as well. And we're not doing any of those good, but uh, big deal is happy at least. And uh, a lot of people waiting here, of course. And Junasando, have you come down? Yeah, you have. And why are we having so many trucks here? Or what are you? Oh. Being behind uh, this road vehicle for the circle. There. But that should be all right. And uh, we're about to hit a new year. And I think that is the perfect time to pass then yet again. Uh, I don't think we have 
supply stocking here yet, uh, but we should have that pretty shortly. And let's have a quick look here on Brunflo and this top if it's overflowing with Oli. Yeah, it is. So, uh, but we are fulfilling this better now in Brunflo, so that's good. We can still add in more vehicles there, I think. But yeah, that will be everything for this episode here at Roslaw Gaming. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time here in Transport Fever 2 or any other game we play. Thank you and bye bye. You have been watching Rollsclaw Gaming and I hope you have enjoyed. On clicking on the video on the left you will see the next video in this series and on the right our latest upload to the channel. And with that said, thank you again for watching.